So you got your appointment a year before a global pandemic. Yeah. So you're checking in as the group CEO MD and you're happy you have your strategies in place, you know what you need to do to, you know, get to the next level. Yeah. And then COVID. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was actually a very difficult time for Sassini. Uh, so I got in in March of 2019. We at the time were going through, we're in the middle of a financial year that wasn't going well. Okay. Uh, global prices for commodities that we deal in were, had plummeted to rock bottom levels that hadn't been seen for a long time. Uh, it was clear to me when I got in, we had six months to the end of the financial year. It was clear to me then that uh, we're going to end up in a loss making scenario and we did. That year uh, we lost uh, after tax, 300 and 40 million shillings, which is a huge amount to lose for a business our size. Uh, and so that was the one issue. The other issue is you say I came in with strategies. I really didn't. Oh. Uh, no, I came in uh, because I don't think you can go into a new company and a new industry with your own strategies. You've got to go, well, maybe people do, but I prefer to go and learn before you decide where, where you want to take the organization strategically. That takes you anything between six and six months depending on how quickly you, you want to learn or how complex that business is yeah. and so by about uh, end of April for me uh, I ticked that box knew exactly what we needed to do uh, there were issues that we were struggling with a lot of them were operational but uh, they were operational because the strategic direction wasn't very strong and so we ended up getting into a situation where we needed to set a new strategic platform mm -hmm. to give us a new path to follow uh, so we spent um, <coughs> the better part of my first three months doing that mm -hmm. and uh, got a, the board to approve that new strategic platform and new direction <coughs> around August of 2019 uh, in readiness for the start of our new financial year in October of that year. Right. And so by the time we were budgeting for the new financial year, it was based on the, on the new strategy or the new strategic framework. Right. So that worked well. And then we started October 2019, um, that financial year, and we had a good strong first quarter and a fairly good second quarter, which starts in January, February. And then in March, uh, just as uh, we had announced our results of the previous year, uh, the pandemic hit. In fact, we got the first case of COVID-19 in the country on the day we held our AGM on March 6th, uh, 2020. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it was uh, clear to me that this was going to affect our business and we needed to uh, be very fast with how we were going to respond and what it meant. Eh? Luckily for me, I, I had experiences in the past working for multinational organizations facing pandemics like this with H1N1 um, in late 2009 and then with SARS in the early part of the millennium. And so that really, coined my thinking around what we needed to do. Mm -hmm. It wasn't really clear to us how big this was going to be, but we knew that it was going to disrupt us being a global business. So yeah, that, those were interesting times, interesting yeah. times. And then the rest of that year, just it was what it was. We ended up being positive in our profit, uh, but it was a challenging year. Yeah. yeah, I like what you said there, and, and thank you for that correction. Maybe it's because of what I've been exposed to in the past, where um, a new CEO takes over and they come in <coughs> with their plans without necessarily um, giving credence or at least observing what has been done before, what we need to fix, just learning the environment you've gone into. And, and so someone comes with this plan and you must do it this way. So in what you have said, there's a lesson. Yeah, you, you, Sassini is 70 years old. They couldn't be here if they haven't done things well and successfully. So, I mean, there, there's no magic bullet there that somebody would come in with and then just change things and all of a sudden it's super successful. Um, uh, and it's any business that's been running for a long time and has been successful does things in a certain way. And, and so your influence on that business as a leader comes only after you've learned that way. And then you see what works and what doesn't. And then you change the things that don't work. Yeah. yeah, if you go in with your own, I mean, what would you know to come in with? Because you've not worked in there. Uh, <coughs> there's nothing you really, you don't know the people. Yeah. Uh, you, you may be exposed through the onboarding process uh, to what their strategies are, what their successes are. And of course, you know something. Uh, you'll have studied them before you join them. Uh, and, and you have those top line views. 
But the intricacies of running the business, uh, that you have to get into, fold your sleeves, get to the shop floor, get to learn that before you can start giving strategic direction on what to change. Mm. And that's no different for Sassinio, no yeah. different for me. I'm, 